Hello! Boy, do I have a special treat for you guys today! I know you guys love Rainbow High and I haven't had Rainbow High on the channel for a while, but that's going to change. Today, we are going to build a fashion studio in true Rainbow High form for Avery Style. Wow. Yep! And that's because we're gonna be unboxing her. You guys, October came up. You guys know it's my favorite holiday of the year, spooky season. I just gotta do all the spookiness. So a couple things have been waiting around here, including this Rainbow High Everest Styles Fashion Studio that I got on Amazon.com. Yay for Amazon. She cost me $49.99, which is not half bad considering all of the stuff that you get in here. But we can't just unbox her like that. You guys know Avery Styles is a prefix perfect and she needs a fashion studio. Plus, we can always use the Rainbow High playset that we're gonna make for our Rainbow High role plays. I'm actually planning on building them an entire high school inspired by the Rainbow High series on their channel. Really fun episodes, check them out. So Avery Styles is getting a fashion studio. We're gonna unbox her later after we make her playset. It's gonna be pretty easy. I'm sure a lot of you can make this play set that we make. All you need, sorry Avery, we're gonna need some space for now. All you will need is some basic stuff. I've got a foam board right here that I have cut up from a previous craft into several pieces and this is gonna be perfect for what I'm going to do. The picture I am going off of is for the Rainbow High Fashion Studio commercial right over here. I want to make the fashion studio like that. It's going to be basic and the walls are going to be built by this here foam board. For my backgrounds and stuff, I usually get the tri-fold foam display board and I can cut it up if I don't need the whole thing. But when I don't need to cut it up, then I actually use it just like this. So here is my tri-fold board that I have made into the LOL city background. Told you guys I like the LOL theme for everything they've got. Their art is so cute and it matches our OMG dolls and LOLs perfectly. So this was my last project with the tri-fold board. I painted the background with regular paint and then the rest I filled in with Posca pens. Well, the bigger parts I used paint on because that would have been painfully long if I used Posca pens on these huge generous parts. But the details were with Posca pens. But you guys get the idea. The very first step you're gonna need to do with any craft is cover your surface. Especially if it's somewhere you don't wanna get paint on. So I've done that and now we can craft to our little heart's desire. It looks like in the picture there are several layers of wall kind of created the perfect background. So we've got pieces of wall overlapping each other. Wow. And we're gonna need this on both sides. So this side's gonna be the same and then this other side's gonna be the same. And then we're gonna bring in a rainbow high doll for measurement. Hi hi from Vi Vi. This episode of the Vi Life, we are making our fashion studio. Yeah, Violet, we already discussed that. If you can kind of fill in for the measurements, that would be awesome. Oh, so you mean I'm not the first to say it on the Vi Life? No, technically we've got it here first. Oh, anywho, where do you want me to stand? Right over here is where we're gonna have her. So you guys can see that we need to be a little bit over her head in the measurements. Okay, so I think I want my shortest panel, 14, and then we're gonna go a little bit taller on the next. So first things first, we're gonna need some more of these back panels. So I'm just gonna borrow this one right over here and use it for measurement. For two of the panels, I won't even need measurements because we're gonna go based off of the folds over here. Just cut right along that line right there. So here we go. Just cut right along the line. for the one that we will be needing to measure. We just use the one we cut out. Draw a line. And then carefully cut out with an X-Acto knife. Yeah. 
And now all we do is glue the pieces together. Then we'll be ready to paint, and that's the funnest part. So here's the first part I'm gonna glue. It's gonna be to the one I haven't cut up yet, like that, going horizontal. Hot glue will do the trick, or you could use some craft tape. We're gonna do the same to this other side with the other trifold that we didn't cut. Get some glue on right over here. You can already see it kind of coming together. It's very easy, but if we want to make it all bougie and extra, we can do that too. Right here where we've got little spaces to kind of give it that 3D pop-up looking playset, we can place another piece of foam board and we can cut out circles for some lights that you can find on Amazon. I will leave a link to the lights in the description box in case you guys want to grab those. Because as you guys can see in the picture, she's got some lights going down from here and maybe we could have some over here. Or maybe we can just not do any lights here and do lights up there. Because those lights come in packs of like 24. So got the one, two, three on that side. And all we need is the third layer on that side. And here we go with the next horizontal one. That one gets glued right over here. So about seven inches in on each side should be fine. I'm just gonna mark that just so I know right there. So I'm gonna be gluing right over here. And do the same on the other side, right about there. And we're gonna be gluing right over here. But we're not done yet. For the lights, I'm gonna take the extra board piece and cut it into strips and use these lights. This is what they look like. I bought these last year around Halloween time and it comes with two remotes. I removed one of them. These lights are pretty cool. All you do is twist them to turn them on. You could leave them like this and they change colors all by itself or you can choose the color for each of the Rainbow High Girls. You can also turn them off and on with the remote too. So I'm gonna see how much of a space that I need to fit these on our phone board just gonna trace around it and I'm gonna space them out so that we have several in a row so I'm gonna make each of these light strips three inches I think that will give us enough room to fit these nicely and give us enough space in between the panels I've went ahead and poked out the holes for the first one and now it makes it easier to align the circles for the second one. that I have the holes poked out of both of the strips, it's time to glue these in. So one's gonna go right over here, right down yonder, right over here. And then I'm gonna glue this other side of the first strip onto the second panel we created. That'll give it its support. And it'll give us the space that we need to divide the first and second layers. So guys, guess what time it is now? It's time to paint. So here goes our painter's palette and the paints I am gonna play around with. I've got pink parfait. I've also got some canary yellow and here is some of the orange I wanna use. It's a color called Tangelo. And maybe I'll try to play around with this orange too. It's a very peachy, pretty orange. It's not like that classic orange orange, you know, like the fruit. <laughs> so yeah, let's play.
All right, so after all of the paint is done, we are now ready to put in the lights. Just FYI, for the paint, you guys, you're gonna need four bottles of each color. Each bottle is about 50 cents, so it's not super expensive, but just throwing it out there because I did run out of colors and I had to go to Walmart and grab some more of the exact same colors. You guys ready? All I have to do is press the little button on the remote control that comes with the lights. And we've got runway lights. Pretty cool. To represent each of the Rainbow High Girls. I'm sure this will look so much nicer in dim light. So this is the entrance to the fashion studio. Avery Styles fashion studio, that is. Okay, so now it's time to decorate. Right over here, I'm gonna put some design stations for the girls to design and sew whatever they plan to make. Because as you guys know, Avery Styles is testing all the girls and each of the Rainbow High girls gets to design a piece for their prefect. And it has to be prefect perfect. So we're gonna need some fashion stations. We're also gonna need some dress for these came with these Barbie style stations. They have their own little measuring tapes and everything. We can also add some artificial plants. These awesome indoor plants I learned how to make on my froggy stuff. I will leave a link to their video in case you guys want to make it on your own. They look so real. We can add another indoor plant over here. We can add some more dress forms. These ones I got from Amazon. They come in a pack of black or white. And they've got a gold stand so it matches the rainbow high theme. There's also these dress forms that I also got on Amazon. If we want, we can add indoor plants on each of the sides and switch them around. Take this one and maybe move it over here. We can also add a lamp. This is from a Bratz playset and get Avery out herself so we can decorate with the rest of her playset. I have my eye on the Rainbow High logo on her box, so we're gonna use that to add to our background. I've got it cut out as perfect as I could get it and using some crafters tape, I'm gonna put it right up here. There's also another logo that we could use. Super pretty, this one's colorful. And we could also use the pictures of Avery with several different looks on the back as art pieces for the rest of the wall. And here we are with the pictures from the back of the box. These will make perfect wall art. Look how cute she looks in that dress. So homecoming glam, casual for class, and hallway to runway. We're gonna get some craft tape on the back of each. Now this gold part on Avery's clothing rack doesn't come with it, it's actually a part of the packaging. So I'm gonna try to include this, or if we can't, then make something that gives a top shelf for our shoe boxes to go. But first, let's see, can I save the gold part? Yeah, it kinda looks like there's nothing to hold on to it, so we may just have to get rid of it. So here is Avery Styles, and she's got a little bit of crunchy gel just like the rest of the Rainbow High dolls, but the difference is a little bit. In case you guys didn't know, Avery comes with wigs. She doesn't have real rooted hair. So her wig comes with a plastic cap with a whole bunch of spiky little grips, kind of like Velcro, not super spiky, just Velcro, and a knob in the center to go into this a little hole in her head. She's got the real eyelashes, really pretty purple and yellow eyeshadow, a berry slash mauve colored lipstick, pink molded hair, and here is the outfit she comes wearing with her boots. The second option of her wig comes in this box and we are so keeping this box. She comes with a gold comb and a whole bunch of rainbow clips. And this part, we're not gonna be able to save it because the rack doesn't really have a surface to hold anything on. So away with you lovely gold panel. So Avery Styles comes with a clothing rack that actually has wheels that work so we can move her clothing rack around. And we need some more of these. So we're gonna make them with some wooden dowels. I wanna make something out of this. 
I'm thinking a table because I have the entire place set and all sorts of decorations, but I don't have a table. So keeping the plastic aside, I'm gonna turn this into a table by gluing some foam board on the sides. We could also put another piece of foam board underneath to act as reinforcement so it doesn't cave in when we put a little bit of weight in here. and her wig mannequin can go right up top here. We can store some shoes in the shoe box that doesn't come with any. And the cutest pair are Sunny Madison's rainbow platforms. There you go. That box is slightly bigger than the other two with the heels that come with Avery Styles. And then we've got the knee-high, sky-high boots that Sunny Madison also designed for Avery Styles. So we can have that display right over here on the table. Now, moving on to extra racks. This should be super easy. Like I said, we're gonna use some wooden dowels. We can just... What? is that picture doing? Rainbow High is haunted! <gasps> oh no! I can't be going to a haunted school! On second thought, I can put it on the Vi Life! Anywho, back to our clothing racks. Rude ghost. We're gonna be cutting the wooden dell right about there. So with Avery Styles clothing rack, we have extensions on the top rod that'll give us more space to hang more clothes. Don't know how much it can support since they are thinner than the actual rod going across. You know, and they might bend. But we can make our custom one as long as this is without the flimsy end. Hot glue the pieces together. We have extra room to hang our other clothes. So the fashion studio is ready. Let's take a closer look at Avery Styles in her fashion studio. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We can always add more. That's the fun of creating your very own playset. Super easy at home. Put some foam board, some paint, and some recyclable materials. She comes with a gold doll stand, two wigs, five tops, two skirts, two dresses, one jacket, one hoodie, one pair of jeans, four pairs of of shoes, nine hangers, five hairpins, four shoe boxes, one comb, one doll stand, the gold one, and one clothing rack. Avery is articulated like all of her Rainbow High friends. She's got a whole bunch of pastel, purple, tinsel, glittered hair, a Rainbow High crop top, a holographic halter dress with all the colors of the rainbow in the stitching, and some ankle boots that have a rainbow soles. Plus, they say rainbow on them. Avery Styles does not come with any earrings. She doesn't even have the holes in her ears to share earrings with the other Rainbow High girls. And here she is trying out Sunny Madison's creation for her and Poppy Rowan's design. Avery Styles is the girl's prefect, so she kind of is the leader of the school with her group of friends. And so the girls are in charge of making her an outfit. I didn't change her shoes out because I think they match perfectly with this outfit and we've got her pink wig on.
Look at her toesies. They look so real. She could also try this outfit out with the knee-high rainbow colored boots. And since there's no green in the wardrobe, I think the design of the shoes is done by Jade Hunter. The boots say rainbow on the side and rainbow on the front. Her next look is this sequined pink dress, perfect for prom or homecoming. And I've paired it up with these star rainbow heels because of the pink soles. And in case you guys are wondering who on earth designed her a pink outfit, there are no pink rainbow high girls. Well, guess again. In this very special box sent to me by MGA Entertainment, we have a brand new dolly. She's joining the rainbow high gang it's our pink gal, Bella Parker. A special thank you to MGA Entertainment for sending Bella Parker out to me for free. She is a reveal of the Series 2 Rainbow High Dolls. Yep, we've got Series 2 Rainbow High Dolls, brand new dolls. And check out the back. We've even got a boy. So Bella Parker designed this lovely pink dress and this cute pink hoodie for Avery Styles. She is all pretty and pink. Does she not remind you of Uptown Girl, but the pink version of her? Look how pretty her outfit is. It looks so Chanel and very fancy. It's made out of tweed and black trim. She's got cute knee-high socks, and let's take a look at her heels. I have to take her out of the box. We gotta get a close-up look at her. She's just too cute to boot. Welcome to Rainbow High, the colorful art school full of bold fashion and even bolder drama. <gasps> drama for your mama? Nope. No thanks. Bell Parker comes with a pink doll stand that's missing the little hook that goes around her waist. So my doll stand is useless. Boo. She also comes with a glittery pink comb that says rainbow on it, just like the rest. She has her extra pair of pearly pink heels, two pastel pink hangers, one for a skirt or pants or shorts, and one for a top, and her extra outfit. She is just fancy all around. Look how cute her second tweed outfit is and her faux leather jacket with pearls very trendy so we're just gonna have to use avery styles doll stand for her now belle parker she's a lovely girl she is she has candy pink hair a pearly black and gold headband and look at her face she is actually i think the first rainbow high doll to have glitter eyeliner she has silver glitter eyeliner on top of pink eyeshadow. And her eyes are of course super pretty like the rest of the Rainbow High Girls. A very glowy skin. She is just highlighted to the moon and back. She's got a cute tweed jacket and the shirt underneath says California Dreams. It's a pink little crop top underneath. So she's fancy on the outside but underneath she's got casual wear. Here's her little skirt. She's got tiny little faux buttons on the side. We saw that she has knee high socks. But here's a closer look at the heels that she comes with. They're pearly, open-toed heels. So Belle Parker really lives up to her fancy schmanciness because Miss Fancy Pants got some diamond earrings. And here is her second outfit. She is just so prim and proper. Like she's just about to do a curtsy. And I think prim and proper is actually Uptown Girl's little sister's name, isn't it? Take a look at her cute shoes. We can take a closer look now that it's out of the box. They're like ballet heels with little bows in the back. They're strappy and they've got buckles to the side. She's got the cutest tights and they say royal high on them. They kind of remind me of Ralph Lauren with the RH, except his is the RL. And the collar on her dress is just too adorable. I love it. I love all of her looks. She's very cute and very well put together. I like her better without her jacket, but her jacket does give her a little bit of edge lots of details and a working buckle belt and here is her next look that I actually really like she's got her violet wig back on a very cute crop top that says don't call me doll and her jeans plus I put on her original boots I think that look pulls together very nicely so these outfits look to be designed by violet willow and Skylar Bradshaw with the blue jeans jeans and the purple top. And it's with this outfit that I think she could actually pull off that sequined rainbow jacket. And with the exact same outfit, she could wear the red bustier that Ruby Anderson designed for her. 
And along with that, we've got Ruby Anderson's other design, her sparkle t-shirt. She can also wear this with Sunny Madison's cute little suspender skirt or her original outfit. And for her final purple look, we've got the same Don't Call Me Doll crop top that Violet Willow designed for her, her shiny lavender skirt, and the last pair of her heels that happen to have crescent moons and stars on the heel. And who's to say you can't top this look off with a hoodie? We still haven't tried on the sparkle pink hoodie. And I also don't see why she can't just rock her pixie haircut. I think she looks cute either way, wig or not. So what do you guys think of the Avery Styles Fashion Studio? Let me know in the comment section. And also our brand new addition to the Rainbow High family, Bella Parker. I hope you guys will try out this DIY and create your very own Rainbow High Fashion Studio playset so that Avery and her friends have lots of space to have fun decorating and designing. Click the thumbs up button, subscribe, if you haven't already and until next time I will see you later. Bye for now.